Hey everyone. Today we are talking about ivermectin paste, a medication you might have heard about, especially in the context of treating parasites. But here's the thing. Ivermectin paste is primarily designed for animals like horses and livestock. However, some people have used it off-label for human parasite infections. Let's break down what you need to know, how it works, and why you should always consult a doctor before using it. Ivermectin has a fascinating history. It was discovered in the late 1970s by Japanese scientist Dr. Satoshi Omura and Irish researcher Dr. William Campbell. They were studying soil samples for compounds that could fight parasites and their work led to the development of ivermectin. In 1981, ivermectin was introduced as a veterinary drug, revolutionizing the treatment of parasites in animals. By 1987, it was approved for human use, particularly for river blindness, a devastating disease caused by parasitic worms. The impact was so profound that Dr. Omura and Dr. Campbell were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2015 for their discovery. Ivermectin is an antiparasitic medication that's been around since the 1980s. It's widely used to treat parasites like roundworms, mites and lice in both animals and humans. For humans, it's available in tablet form or as a topical cream, prescribed by doctors for conditions like scabies or river blindness. But here's where it gets tricky. Ivermectin paste is formulated for animals. It's often sold in tubes at farm supply stores and is meant to be administered based on the animal's weight. Using it for humans can be risky because the dosage and formulation aren't designed for us. Technically, yes, but with major caveats. Some people have used ivermectin paste for human parasite infections, especially in areas where access to medical care is limited. However, this is considered off-label use, meaning it's not approved or recommended by health authorities like the FDA or WHO. The biggest issue, dosage. Ivermectin paste is concentrated for large animals, so calculating the correct dose for humans is complicated. Too much can lead to serious side effects like nausea, dizziness, or even seizures. Plus, the paste often contains inactive ingredients that aren't safe for human consumption. Ivermectin works by paralyzing and killing parasites. It targets their nervous systems, effectively stopping them from reproducing or causing further harm. In humans, it's been a game-changer for diseases like onchocerciasis, river blindness, and strongyloidiasis, which are caused by parasitic worms. But remember, the human-approved versions of ivermectin are carefully dosed and tested for safety. Using animal-grade ivermectin paste bypasses these safeguards, which is why it's not recommended. Beyond its use for parasites, ivermectin has shown promise in other areas, scabies and lice. It's a highly effective treatment for these common skin conditions. Rosacea. Topical ivermectin cream is approved for treating rosacea, a chronic skin condition, potential antiviral properties. Some studies have explored ivermectin's potential against viruses, but this research is still in early stages and not yet proven for widespread use. Despite these benefits, Ivermectin should only be used under medical supervision. Self-medicating, especially with animal-grade products, can lead to serious health risks. So, can ivermectin paste be used for humans? Technically, yes, but it's not safe or recommended. Always consult a doctor before using any medication, especially one designed for animals. Parasite infections are serious and proper treatment is key to staying healthy. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more health and wellness tips. And remember, when it comes to your health, always play it safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.